Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. You Billy thugs. Maybe I want to go get a massage or something. Oh, money. 3,000, you cheap. Home run! Man, everybody uses cheap stuff. That bat broke. Thing shattered. What a waste. Hey, you have a sec? Depends. What do you need? I'm looking for someone who works here. You think I could talk to Seiya for a sec? Seiya san, huh? No can do. Not today. Is he off today? Not quite. He's out on a date with a customer. Damn. He could be practically anywhere then. I have to fucking look Third him up. Day in a row, too. He's got it wrapped around his finger. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Any idea when he'll be back? No clue. I doubt he went far, but that's all I've got. All right, cool. Thanks anyway. I like how open some people are just giving the info. First the owner of Mora, now this guy. Why can't people just stay at their clubs? Hey, maybe I can find him the same way as did before. Worth a shot. Yo, Tsukumo. Jesus, oh, back away hey, from the Japanese. camera. What's up? I, uh, I need something. Think you can do another message search for me? Sure, just hit me with the keywords you need. Hmm. Let's go with Stardust and Seiya. Oh, and let's limit the search history to just today. You got it. Give me just a second here. It's working. It's working. <laughs> I'll just You're the murderer. Your screen. Uh, might have worked too well. Any other keywords you want to narrow this down by? Hmm. Date. <laughs> oh, that did the trick. Great. Should be easy to check these out myself. Thanks, Tsukumo. I'm sure Seems like you're three different people time. are going out on a date with him. Oh, that's not good. This dude's a scumbag. Oh, I had to sneeze. Ah, oh, Jesus. Excuse me, ma'am. What? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Huh? What do you want with Seiya? Uh, I need to ask him something. I heard he was on a date around here. Uh, did you say date? Who's the bitch he's cheating on me with? <laughs> oh, uh, you know what? Never mind. It's fine. It is not fine. What the hell is going on? Imagine, oh, uh, uh... <laughs> Look at the time. Gotta run. I'm about to go on a date. Now, granted, this guy's a scumbag, but, like, imagine just being out on a date and some dude come out. I'm looking for you, the guy you're about to go on a date with. I heard he's supposed to be on a date around here. It's like, well, I'm his date. Yeah, but he's on the date right now. With who? Who's the slut? It's like, I gotta go. Ooh. Excuse me, ma'am. What is it? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Wait, you know Seiya-kun? Is he alright? We were gonna go on a date tonight, but he never showed. I'm kind of worried. Huh? I'd heard he was on a date around here too, but I guess that means uh. it wasn't with you. Uh, better luck next time? Wait, what? Seiya-kun's out with another girl? Sounds like it, but don't take it too hard. I'm sure you'll bounce back. Oh, thank goodness he's safe. I thought he'd gotten into an accident or something. Yeah. I wonder if he's having fun on his date. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. Oh, boy. I gotta go. Ooh. 
Someone needs to keep an eye on her. She is not okay. That is a big fucking cone. Choice. They followed me all the way down here. I want this cone. Come here! This is my cone! There are many like it, but this one is mine! compensate for something I never had a love confession our marriage was arranged you see oh boy why is it so big because I need something big in my life Welcome. Eh, I don't need any of this. I don't see any, but oh, there you are, Jesus. I hope Seiya can get here soon. That's a weird thing to say to me. Wait a sec. You mean Seiya, that host from Stardust? Hmm. Who are you? Are you from the club? Uh, no, sorry. I'm just looking for Seiya. I'd ask where he is, but it looks like you know as much as I do. Hey, are you implying my Seiya kun stood me up? Um, I'm sure he's just taking his time getting ready. He'll be here any minute. Uh huh. How long have How you long been have waiting? You been waiting anyway. I, I. <laughs> oh boy. Um. I shouldn't have asked. Excuse me. Don't look like he's here either. Damn it! I got nothing. I'm gonna awkwardly sit here calling you. Oh, Yagamishi. Did you manage to track down that host of yours? No. Nope. Struck out on all. Hey, I appreciate leads. you backing your face away uh, from the camera. How about giving it another try? Nah, I'm good. I'll figure out some other way. Don't be such a sourpuss, Yagamishi. I bet there have been more posts since earlier. Doubt that's gonna change much. But sure, why not? Let's see what you got. <laughs> Let's start with the same keywords from before. See that? A new hit! <laughs> the landscape I'm is okay. Girl, does he look second. delicious. Yeah, Can't wait to start this date. <laughs> Booty call <laughs> my. I don't know what is. A oh, fuck right. kind of name is that? Thanks for everything, Tsukumo. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> what a, like, chat handle. No one ever thinks I'm delicious. <laughs> TV cute though. Well, granted that everyone kind of looks a little either untextured or just a little weird in certain cases, and some people look really good. I don't know. I feel like his character model is going to look kind of crappy. Or just average. Yeah, do these do anything for you? 
Home run. I don't think that's how that works. Based. No one even thinks I'm cute or delicious. I'm just gross and a monster. Isn't that the meat at your god? Your oh my god! It's, oh god! This isn't even part of the story. I think this is just that guy from the friendship thing. So we got pissy. So please understand our legendary Calbi, Calbi, whatever it is, only goes to customers who successfully pass our quiz. That is a promotion. Are you shitting me? I cannot fucking believe this. What kind of bullshit customer service is this? Such language, sir. Would you please stop making a scene? Hmm? That meathead sure looks heated. Maybe it's time to squash the beef. Excuse me. Hey, is everything all right? Oh, aren't you the customer from before? Huh? Ha! <laughs> Who's this lean meat looking mofo? Who the fuck? I'm having trouble with a uh, guest. He's demanding to eat our special uh, hey. meal. Well, you get all the questions right. Bro, who even cares about that shit? All I know is that I'm starving to death over here for no reason. Rules are rules, bro. If you want that meat that bad, well, why don't you beef up your knowledge? Yes, he, he is right, after all. This gentleman passed the quiz just fine. Huh? What? You ate the special calibre yep. or whatever? Y yes, unbelievable. You smug son of a bitch. I need that protein for my workout gains. It's completely wasted on a sausage stick like you. You know what? You spit that meat out of your mouth right now. Cough that shit up. Gotta be kidding me. There's no way I'm doing that. Also, that happened like two days ago in the game, I think. Then I'll make you throw up the hard way. This Locals. Defeat the muscular man. His outfit does not make him seem muscular. Over here now. Still feeling tough. Come on, bring it, muscular meathead, fucking asshole. Go to sleep. Walk over him, people. Part of the road now. Satisfied yet? I, I'm i shook, bro. I did everything. Crush weights every day and even went full keto, too. Where did I go wrong? Spreading your body is fine, but next time, train your mind. Then maybe you can beat the challenge fair and square. I'm, I'm out of this bitch. I'm out this bitch. Um, you okay? Yes, thanks to you. How about yourself? Yeah. Hardly a scratch on me, though I lost half health. Thank heavens. May I ask your name, sir? This is Yagami. Sure, I'm Yagami. Yagami-sama. What did you just... What you did was nothing short of amazing. As my way of saying thanks, you're welcome to order a superior single cut. I'll be any time you wish. Huh? Sounds good to me. It's the least I can do. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Yes. All right, it really pays to lend people a hand every now and then. 
Now that I'm hurt, I gotta go. I'm, again, I'm gonna see if I can trigger this before I go and see Sega, because now I'm hurt. Hello, friends. you had I'll take your 5,000 that'll cover my meal <laughs> welcome sir hi I'd like one of your finest um, cheesecakes milk tea and I'll have some toast ah, it's the spot. back to it pardon me sir but could I get a minute of your time hmm? what can I do for you well my name is mommy Sakuba and I've been working here for a while now mommy uh, wait, is that how I say it? Basically, I'm looking for customer feedback. Would you mind describing how that tasted just now? Sure, I tend to hold back, though. Or, I tend not to hold back, though. That's fine. I've been trained to make each pastry exactly like the owner does, so I need all the constructive crews that I can get. Ah, sounds like you're working hard. Heh, <laughs> I try. But now I'm part of following my dreams, so I don't mind, because one day I'll be the best pastry in town. Nice passionate about your job, isn't it? Of course, so would you mind sharing your thoughts on the road to perfecting confections? Every comment counts. Sure thing. Great. Thank you so much. Now, can I ask you what you thought of the cake? Might be just be me, but I think the cheesecake's a little lacking in the sour department. You mean it's not sour enough? Well, if I were a customer who wanted something sweet, I'd probably pick something else. Almost anything can be sweet. But the thing about it makes cheesecake a cheesecake is its unmistakable tanginess that lingers on the tongue. That's true. So I think you should keep the sourness in mind when you're making your next batch. Wow, that is actually pretty insightful. <laughs> well, is it, it's just my personal opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. Oh, not at all. You always, you always give me really valuable feedback, so I hope you'll come back more often. I always do. We just met. After this place takes the cake. You think so? Well, I'd hate to see you desert us, so please come back again soon. Seems like value by input. Makes me want to talk cakes with her more often. I like her. There's a like sour t left on your tongue when you eat a cheesecake. You just don't notice. Everyone has a boyfriend but me. Why? Why am I the only one single? Lady, I, it's because you're looking at all the wrong places. the people you picked her to go on a date with the other ones i think were hey, better looking say it right from stardust huh oh my Sorry god he's so handsome <laughs> you'll have to excuse me my child i won't be long hey is everything okay don't worry it'll all be fine the other girls were better even the crazy one stepping outside yagami -san? wait you know who i am I do. Okay. The owner over at Tender told me about you. Thought I'd ask you to do me a favor. You want to get back at a Yakuza who hit you, yeah? 
Yes. He said you might be able to manage something. A disgraced ex-lawyer who's not afraid to get his hands a little dirty? Sounds like you're pretty well known in Kamurocho. So that's what people say about me? One more thing. This is just a rumor, but uh, I hear you'll do anything for your clients. Yeah, anything. Wink, you wink. You got a murderer off the hook, right? Oh, did I say something wrong? No, it's all right. Anyway, you said Captain Hamra hit you? That's right. When? The night of December 3rd. The day of the murder. You're sure? Yes. Funny enough, I've been hired to look into Hamra's case. This story of yours could be key evidence. That's so. Not sure I want to be the guy who sets him free. I know you two have a history, but I need this. Please. How could I say no to a celebrity like you? It's fine. Yes, I might be able to prove Hamura's, Hamura's alibi now. What time did you run into Hamura? I don't think we will. I think around midnight. Out in front of Kyushu Number One Star. Not the busiest place. Kyushu Number One Star? Isn't that near Sauna Goten? Yeah, it is. Mind telling me more? Why did he hit you in the first place? I don't know. You got a hittable I face. The guy reeked of booze, though. I was just walking down the street when I noticed him coming towards me. He was like mumbling to himself or something. Kind of scary shit. I tried to avoid him, but he just barreled towards me anyway. And how many times did he hit you? Just the once. He left a fucking nasty bruise, though. Not where my fillings clean out, too. A filling, huh? Did you go to the dentist? Huh? Yeah, the next day. Then you'll be in their records. That'll corroborate your testimony. Ah, so that's what you were getting at. Moving on, what did Hamura do after he hit you? You fucked me. He stumbled away into a sauna. That Goten place you mentioned. So just to recap, he hit you around 12, and then headed into sauna Goten. Yes. The old guy at sauna Goten said that no one left the place until morning. And as long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. Can I count on your testimony in court? No problem. It'd be nice to have the great Yagami-san owe me a favor. Maybe Masuda could give me a few freebies too. <laughs> sure, I'll ask him. I don't think you're going to get any freebies. Also, I think you're the killer. <laughs> Did you see any security cameras around when you ran into Hamura? Video evidence would lock this up for me. Hmm. Couldn't say. I don't usually look for that stuff. Right. You seem like a psycho. Oh, thanks anyway. I'll be in touch. Of course. See ya. So it went down in front of the number one start. That's the best lead I've got right now. Let's hope they have a camera. Oh. Now this pizza. Hello? Yo, it's me. Jeez, why do you look older? Negative. But I did track down someone who had a run. This fucking Tom screenshot of him looks makes him look so old. His alibi might be more airtight than we thought. You're kidding me. Just around midnight on the day of the crime, this guy Seiya got hit by Hamura, then saw him go to the sauna. It was apparently right by Kyushu number one star. If they have a security camera, it would have caught everything. I'm heading to check it out now. Hold up. Isn't that near KJR? Those Kyore guys won't be happy to see you. If I was worried about getting seen, I'd never leave the office. <laughs> Fair enough. Later. All right. Wants to fight now. Just a bunch of thugs. These guys suck. Oh, my nuts just landed on a pole. Like a signpost. Aren't me, excuse me. Is this 
Let's really say you got hit. A security camera could have caught something. Hmm. Nothing on you, lady. Hey. There he is. Oh, look, a cat. What the? We punched him near here. There is a camera. Tom Pomora's on it. Hey, you. Oh, God. Were you? I know you. I never met you. <laughs> Clear your schedule, because I'm going to take my time with you. Oh, good one. Boys, get this fucker back to the office. I really don't have time for this. Yo, talk! Kind of science. Stay the fuck out of this! Where are you? Oh, my God. Sweet, man. Hey, you want to try helping out? Sure thing. My turn! You two fuckers are going down now! Clean up the stash. Oh, God, not the sword. How am I going to get back to your office if you're going to stab me? This would come in handy. I had these Jack Daniels for a reason. Bitch. The more I drink, the stronger I get. Got a box. Oh, Jesus. Nope. 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 Missed me. Now you're gonna kiss me. I feel like you'd be dead, but hey, who am I to complain?
It's just a cardboard box. That doesn't hurt that much. Oh, he tried. Kind of broke his neck with a sledgehammer. Please tell me you found something. You did, right? I think I did. Check out that camera. We're in the Which just caught us doing all of this. Midnight. And if it doesn't, let's let's try and stay optimistic. Well, camera, you got good news for us or what? I do not. I am just a camera. Fuck you. This video shows everything you need to see. My client, Hamarasan, drunkenly attacked this passerby on the night of the murder. Then, after the altercation, that same passerby watched Hamarasan walk into Sana Goten. Nobody came out of the building after that, until the train started in the morning, meaning the defendant was accounted for during the hours in question. The defense asserts that this video establishes a clear alibi which can only be seen as proof of Hamarasan's innocence. To that end, I have a question for the prosecution. Did you have any prior knowledge of this video before the trial began? I assure you that we reviewed all the relevant footage from the sauna. And yet the defendant was nowhere to be found, counsel. At least so I was told. Meaning? You never actually went to examine the site personally, then. Would you say that's correct? Yes. My associates took care of that. Nonetheless, the defense's video is far too blurry to clearly identify either participant. There's no way to tell whether the man in the footage was the defendant or just a random pedestrian. <laughs> Thank you very much. In that case, the defense would like to call a witness to the stand. Now this is where he's either going to bullshit us or not help at all. I don't know. Seasan, do you claim you're the person in this video? That someone assaulted you that night? Is that accurate? Yes. It is. Now tell us, this person who assaulted you, are they here in the courtroom? Witness? Is there a problem? I am. Um, hmm? I must have been mistaken. I am the one getting hit in the video. But as to who the other guy was, I can't say. Excuse me. Your Honor, a uh, recess, if you don't mind. He can't do it. He's scared of Hamura, I guess. I don't know, because I think probably charges would be put. I don't know. He, he's happened? he's scared. I, I, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. But why? You were all ready to go this morning. I... Got a phone call earlier. Go on. <laughs> Keep speaking. It said it was from my sister, but there was a strange man on the line. He said his name was Morase. Told me you'd know him. Oh my god, this guy's trying to interfere. Oh 
Rase. And he told you not to testify? Yes. He said if I did, if I did, I'd never see my sister again. Got it. What are you doing, Yagami? Calling the police? Kaito-san, it's me. Those KJ art guys took Seiya's sister. I'm heading over there now. Could use a hand. The hell are you doing? We're in the middle of a trial here. A trial doesn't mean shit if you can't protect your witness. Uh. Duh. Buy me as much time as you can. I'll get Seiya's sister back. I'm the one who dragged you into this. I'll be the one to drag you out. Promise. I go above and beyond your typical lawyer because I'm a detective. By time, he says. He knows this is a court, right? Well, if only you had, you know, just strip, show boobs. They just you now that'll distract him for a little while. I'm just a detective. I was a lawyer, but after letting a, after helping a killer prove innocent at the time. Not thinking he'd kill. He killed somebody and set up his killed his girlfriend, set the house on fire, which I think was someone that Yagami knew. So he quit being a lawyer to just be a detective and try to solve like who actually is the good guy and bad guy in situations. Then stuck being a lawyer, having to be forced to defend against even bad people. And the other person is someone he worked with in the company. Like he's still working and teaming up with. Uh, like his old co-workers that were in that lawyer, like the firm. He just gets hired to look for evidence. The other guy that's on our team uh, with the shirt is an ex-Yakuza who got kicked out of the family or exiled. We haven't really, sh they haven't really went into too much detail why yo, other than yo, an, inc yo, an incident. Where are you? I'm right around the That's corner. why he wears the fancy like Wait, shirt because he kind of pretty much looks like a yakuza kind of character. Are we sure this is where they got her? They're from Kansai, remember? They can't have that many hideouts. Plus, plus what? I bet there's a reason all the blinds are down. If anything, that makes it more suspicious. I guess he's got a point. Anyways, I'll be up on. I don't know if he is. See you soon. I didn't play any others besides Zero, and even that's still a little fuzzy in my mind of what happened. You might get it confused with Kiru, or however the hell you fucking pronounce the main character's name. What is this place? It's, uh, oh god, this is mud. I don't know how to play this. I'll look like a fool. Could have taken the ladder, but I took that stupid Still way. Can't get eyes on what's in there. Got any bright ideas? I'll disguise as a mechanic. Well, we barge in. Who knows how many of them are in there? No way I'm getting away with a disguise now either. Then, I guess we gotta sneak in. That's the only way. <laughs> I had a feeling. I've got a plan. Yeah, lay it on me. First, I'll make a big scene out front. Then, when they're distracted, you sneak in and get the girl. That's your big plan? Pretty good, huh? Uh, sure. How are you gonna do it? Yeah, You'll see soon. Sure. Enough. Just remember, both our asses are on the line here. I won't forget. So, the girl's in there, yeah? Let's go bring her home. Well, let's hope she's in there. Right. I'll go look for a way in. Let you know when I find one. Oh, you are causing a scene. What the fuck? <laughs> hey! Where's that asshole Morase? Name's Kaito, ex Matsugane. Bring him out, or I'll burn this shit down! Oh, yeah, go on! I dare you! Just stay right there, punk! <laughs> <laughs> I just like the what the fuck? Gota, this is your chance. On it. Don't die, okay? 
really stuck around? You should have bailed when you had the chance. You're pretty fucked now. Dumbass! Who the fuck are you? I said I wanted Morase! You fucking scrubs ain't worth my time! Get Morase! Do -do 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 -do. Oh. Gotta fucking lockpick it again. I'm here to fix your heater. Locked. Maybe I should be able to do the simple thumb turn bypass. Work those thumbs. Use the thumb turn bypass as yet another way to open a locked door. Slip a thin wire through the door gap and turn the knob on the other side of the door to unlock it. If you don't have a thin wire, you won't be able to do the thumb turn bypass. Use the stick uh, icon with the red frame. Showed on the left of the door. Move left or right on when we start to move. Match the icon. If you don't match the icon, it'll st you'll have to start from the beginning. The number of inputs as well as specific capacity will vary from each door. This calls for a wire. I only have one left. Nice. Got it. Always rely on a thin wire bypass. I wonder how he's doing out there. How am I not hearing him? What the hell are you? I'm the repair guy. I'm the repair guy. Out of all the things, I picked up a wooden bucket, huh? I got some nunchucks. Ow. I got beat him up. I don't need weapons. I just throw my fists and feet everywhere. You can't keep up. You. Where's the girl you took? I don't know nothing, honest. I'm new here. They don't tell me shit. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, then you're useless to me. <laughs> no way to go but up. Well, you're useless. Back. Something else in here? We're just back here now because they took the girl, as far as we're aware, back to their hideout. Not much of a hideout if we already knew where it was. Ah, the, oh, the lockpick. I thought we were going thin wire bypass. Almost there. Nice. That'll do it. Oh, God. Oh, I, for 
prefer to not use your weapons. You done already? Oh, this guy. Beats the katana. Home run. Might be on this floor. There we go. Not my favorite lockpicking minigame, but... Hey there. Is this where you keep the girl? Oh, God. Well, oh, sorry about that arm. Really, guys? I don't think she's on this floor. Oh, shit. <laughs> now, tell me what I want to know, or else. Where's the girl? She's Where's the up girl? in the reception room. Got it. Appreciate the honesty. What's the code for the reception room? Like I tell you. <laughs> I don't have time for your games. Understand? That what you now just I'm tell me. Ask you again. What's the code to the reception room? One, three, seven, zero. Well, that wasn't so hard. Thanks. All I wanted. Oosh. There's no one got a key here. That'll do it. I think I got this key still. They didn't change that lock. Too much work. Nice. Almost there. Nice. One, three, seven, zero. So I'm here to retrieve the girl. You're Seiya's sister, right? Don't worry. You're safe now. Yagami! When the hell did you get here? Just the other day. Let the girl go. Right now. What do you mean? Let her go. The girl can leave whenever she wants. We don't have her tied up or nothing. I get it. It's all fine if you aren't keeping her captive, right? 
just have to make her stay here until the trial's over. You really thought this one through. But that's not gonna work. Huh? Confinement is a crime, whether or not your captive is tied up, idiots. Shut your trap! You know, I am a lawyer. Imprisonment will get you between three months and seven years, maybe even longer if you hurt the victim. Guess you'll have to take a little dip in an acid bath then. No body, no crime. This economy? Huh. Where are you gonna get that? Two. Tack on another year. You pizza. Come on, let's make sure this asshole never talks again. Well, it's worked out so far for you guys. Oh, oh my god! Fucking throw everything in the room, why don't you? Good punch. Take a seat. Sweet TV. Oh, good. Look at my chest. Come on. Oh, my God, you again? Not so fast, Yagami. Marase san, hasn't this gone on long enough? You're only going to make things worse for yourself. Hamura has an alibi. Someone else clearly killed Kume. There's no reason for you to keep Seiya from testifying. But if Hamura didn't murder Kume, who did? I'm not sure. Hamura might have an idea. He must have been working with the real murderer. What? That's right. Several facts point to Hamura's involvement. The night of the crime, Kume went into Amor and just disappeared, right? He didn't contact you. Nobody saw him. He didn't even show up on any security footage. The way I see it, Kume never left Amor. In other words, Hamra must have handed him over to the real murderer. While Hamra was at the sauna making an alibi for himself, someone else was murdering Kume and gouging his eyes out. It almost makes sense. If Hamra ends up behind bars, I'll never be able to prove that theory. So what? You want to let Hamra walk? Better that than threaten a girl to stop someone from testifying. Besides, I thought you were above shit like this. <laughs> All right, just get out of here. You got guts for a detective. Huh. <laughs> Thanks. Rest is up to Sh Shintani. Almost said Shinati. Hamura-san is the one punching me in this video. The same man standing here today. I remember now. There's no doubt in my mind. So, you retract your earlier statement? Yes. My apologies. Your Honor, clearly this witness has no credibility. How does the defense respond? I admit, the witness was shaken up before. But I believe that's a perfectly understandable response. This is his first time in court, after all. I have no doubts regarding his credibility. This Stardust establishment. It's a host club, yes? How long have you been employed there? About two years. For that short a time frame, 
You seem to have an awful lot of trouble with your customers. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean. Several of them have approached you in hopes of marriage, have they not? They come spending huge sums of cash, so you act like you're ready to seal the deal. You say whatever it takes to make them happy in the moment, but your story changes once things start to get real. Five women have filed reports with the Consumer Affairs Bureau, and those are just the ones who have stepped forward. Can we really trust the words of such a manipulative man? With these character traits in mind, I sincerely doubt the credibility of the witness's testimony. And if the witness is indeed lying, the defendant's alibi is invalid. That is all. How does the defense respond? I'd like to continue on the topic of credibility. Mind if I ask you a few questions, prosecutor? Go ahead. First, allow me to fast forward the security footage to just a few days after the crime. Oddly enough, we'll be looking at the exact day the prosecution filed their suit. Hmm. Isn't that you, prosecutor? Uh, yes. And in this footage, you're reenacting the altercation that took place between the defendant and our witness, yes? What? No. Well, that's strange. You stated earlier that you hadn't seen any footage from the camera near the sauna. But then... How would you be able to reenact things exactly as they went down? You also claimed you did not inspect the area yourself. But it seems that wasn't the truth. Why are you hiding the truth from us, prosecutor? You're wrong! You're the murderer. <laughs> as you can see, the original footage isn't exactly clear. I would understand if you would deny that the defendant was the man who punched our witness. But instead, you claimed you hadn't seen the footage at all. If I had to guess, when you first saw the footage, you realized Hamra might have been the other man. At the very least, you couldn't rule out the possibility. So you lied, I would say. <laughs> that, that's not true. Can we be sure that what you say is credible? You've already lied outright in a court of law. And unfortunately for you, there's only one person who thinks the defendant is guilty. And that's you, prosecutor. I'm here. <laughs> the night Kume got murdered, Hamura was holed up in Sauna Go 10 till morning. The footage from the security camera, Hamura's alibi, Seiya's testimony, it all lined up. With a story that airtight, there's no chance he could have killed Kume. We find the defendant, Kyohei Hamura, innocent. I will now clarify the reasoning behind this decision. Defendant, please be seated. The judge was right. Hamura definitely didn't kill Kume. But, he had to have been involved. Meanwhile, the real killer is still out there, hiding in the shadows of Kamurocho. Murdering Yakuza, gouging their eyes out, retreating into his den. So, I've given him a name. The Mole. Yeah. Really? What we're gonna call him a lawyer's job is done once he proves the defendant innocent but me i'm not a lawyer not anymore meaning my search for the truth only ends when i say it does my office might be small but that doesn't mean i don't have a reputation to uphold in other words I'll do whatever it takes to bring Hamura and the Mole down.
Hmm. Yagami-san. Nice seeing you. You're the killer. <laughs> I just keep pointing fingers Gorgeous at everyone. Day. How's the detective business been treating you lately? Yeah, I knew you'd show up here, Hattori. Listen, I'm not in the mood for your shit today. Yeah, but it's my journalistic duty to hear what you have to say. It's not personal, just trying to do my job, okay? He's a freelance journalist. Well, I've already seen what your so-called job produces. Fraudulent lawyer lets a murderer walk. Helpless girl suffers the consequences. <laughs> you and I both know. You're the only reason the girl died. You just had to go and set that killer free, didn't you? And the good people who raised her still suffer for it. You can't be coming back now. What would her poor family have to say to that, huh, Yagami-san? No need to worry about that. If you say so. Hmm. See you around then. I think this is as far as I ever got. I think I started up the next cutscene and then I think I stopped playing when this game released. I was like, we figured it out. Can't wait to find out what happens next time. And then I hadn't touched the game in like six months. <laughs>